This is a portrait of Joseph Priestley, the discoverer of oxygen. He was quite a radical thinker and he lived in the UK, but towards the end of his life, he moved to the United States. But he discovered oxygen here in the UK before he emigrated. I should say that there was a parallel discovery by Sheila, but I want to talk about Priestley, not about the oxygen. Because before he left the United States, he gave a present to somebody here in the UK, and I want to see it. I have never seen it before. So let's go and have a look. The present is in this little box. Let's open it and look at it together. There's a leather case. In this are Priestley's spectacles. I think they're very exciting. I was just thinking, the frames are rather trendy by modern standards, because look, this is tortoise shell, I think. But what is interesting is you can see that the side pieces move outwards like this. He can't have had such a small head. I think they must have been designed to give a sort of spring effect so they didn't fall off his nose. Nobody knows whether Priestley was short-sighted or not. I suppose the only thing to do is actually to look through the glasses and see. They seem pretty powerful. I can see nothing through them at all. And um, I think he had a smaller head than me. So I won't try it on, I might break them. They clearly weren't safety glasses. So if it had an accident, it would have been dangerous for him. It says on here, Dr. Priestley, born 1733, died 1804. So there's a nice label on it, really showing it that there were his glasses. And I think in those days, these were very expensive and valuable item. So it was worth giving it to somebody else. When my glasses wear out, I just throw them away or dump them in a drawer. I've never given them to anybody else. I didn't think anybody would want them. That's not an invitation to you on YouTube to write in for them. I don't get them in very often, and I haven't gotten any now. I think what is interesting is that even at that time, he was a sufficiently respected person that the societies preserved his glasses. Some scientists, when they make a discovery, the importance of their discovery is not realised till many, many years afterwards. Everything's been thrown away. But this shows that Priestley's work must have been valued at the time. He made oxygen out of mercuric oxide, the compound with one atom of mercury, one atom of oxygen. And it is said that what he did was to focus sunlight using a large lens onto a sample of this mercuric oxide, which is a red-coloured compound, or orangey-red, and it dissociated to give oxygen and mercury, which is a silver metal. So he could see fairly easily that a reaction had taken place, and he collected the gas, and this was the gas that he analysed. He didn't call it oxygen, um, but that name was coined later. There's also... it's said that he invented carbonated water, carbon dioxide in water, which is what the fizzy drinks that you and I drink now. And so probably he's more famous for oxygen, but perhaps fizzy drinks have a bigger impact on our everyday life now. The Royal Society is putting on an exhibition which is going on from now until May 2013 on romantic chemistry, where you can see some of these papers, you can see Priestley's glasses and all sorts of other interesting artefacts. So come along and learn a bit more chemistry.